Welcome to my Planet Zoo mod installation tutorial for 2023 and beyond. My name is Leaf, and it's so great that you guys are able to join me today. Hopefully this tutorial is going to stand as a much better example of how to install mods from here on out. Before we do get started though, I do want to warn that using mods in Planet Zoo, there is a risk that comes with it. Whether a mod is broken or whether you uninstall it the wrong way, you might be able to lose your map. This obviously is not good, and this is part of the reason why I want to give this little forewarning before. However, what you see on the screen right here is the Open Naja modding server. This is where all of us lovely modders love to hang out. If you guys are having any issues with mods whatsoever, I really recommend that you guys join this Discord server and reach out to any one of us and we can happily help you there. Another super useful tip is to check out the bugs page, which usually shows you anything that might be an issue with your mods. Troubleshooting mods comes with its own ups and downs, so really reach out to any modder, whether it's the creator of the mod itself or any other modder on the Discord server, and they'll be able to help you out there. Now, important thing to note is where to actually find mods. This is Nexus Mods. Nexus Mods is the best place to host mods, not only for you guys as the users, but also for the creators. This is where you're gonna see every single Planet Zoo mod that's ever been made. If you find a Planet Zoo mod on another site, that's not from us, and I really advise you not to download from those sites. Nexus has its own checks and balances that make sure that what you're downloading is completely safe. If you're downloading it from another site, there's no way to ensure its safety. Now before we get started, let's find out how to find your OVL data folder. To find your OVL data folder, you'll want to go to your Steam for Planet Zoo and click on this little gearbox over here where it says Manage. After you click on that, you go to Manage and then Browse Local Files. This is going to bring up your Planet Zoo folder within your Steam Apps common folder. For example, mine's located in my C drive, so if you guys are having issues finding that, make sure you know which drive it's actually installed in. From here, you're going to find your Win64 folder. Then from there, you're going to find your OVL data folder. This is going to be the hub of your Planet Zoo mods, and I really do suggest you guys pop back over here and drag this all the way to the, your side right over here for quick access. What this is going to allow you to do is find it with ease. So if you're in your like documents folder, you could pop right back over here to OVL data and then you'll be fine. Now that we have that all set, let's check out some Planet Zoo mods. Now here we have Axie, Kai Core General, Free Build, a new species mod, an animal remaster, new paths, new props, and Planet Zoo Plus, as well as terrain replacements. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get started by downloading all of these. They'll pop right up here, click on manual download if you're doing this manually, and let's get started. An important thing to note before we get started with the installation process is to check out mod requirements. Some mods, whether they're based on Axie, whether they're based on Kai Core, or whether they're based on an animal that is too similar to the modded animal you're currently trying to install, they might require a different mod, or they might require certain DLC for it to work. That's just something to keep in mind when you're downloading your mods. Failure to install mod requirements may result in a crash, so please be sure that you're checking all of those. Now before we do get started with actually opening up these files, I do want to recommend WinRAR or WinZip or any other RAR file opener. Essentially what this is going to let you do, it's going to allow you to open up your zips or RAR files with ease and be able to kind of extract the contents out of there. WinRAR is completely free, they do have a free trial version which funnily never runs out, so I really recommend you guys use this one over all others. But if you find one that works for you, that is totally fine as well. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my OVL data folder and bring it right over here. So we could see that as of this day, 10-21-2023, we only have 19 folders in here. Content 0 represents base game, content 1 through 15 represent the DLCs, content anniversary 1 and 2 represent the anniversary expansions, and game main is just extra files in here that help the game run. It's important to never delete these. You should always have content 0 through the current DLC, 
Content Anniversary, Content Anniversary 2, and Game Main. And Content Anniversary 3 whenever that comes out. Now from here, I'm going to show you how to install Axie. If you open up Axie in here with WinRAR or any other program of your choosing, all you need to do is drag it out into your OVL data folder. It's as shrimple as that. Now it's important not to double click on here and open up this stuff. Please do not do this. These mods are already made in such a way that they are perfect for you just to drag and drop. Now installing KaiCore. KaiCore is very much the same principle. He even includes a readme right in here. You could just open this up. You could see that he even includes some install instructions right here. Drag and drop. Simple as that. So that's what we do. We drag and we drop. From there, we can install FreeBuild again. This comes with your install instructions from Kai. Here they are, drag and drop. Simple as that, drag and then drop. There's also free build controls over here, which is very handy to have on hand. So I really suggest you guys drop these into your free build folder, just so you guys can check this out whenever you want to. Now Planet Zoo Plus is a little bit more tricky. It's as simple as dragging and dropping, but there's a little bit extra stuff in here. So let's check this out. If we come over here to your configuration settings, these are .ini files. If you right click and edit, you can open up every single enable or disable in here which affects your gameplay and what planet zoo plus does this isn't technically a planet zoo plus tutorial but restoring cut content in here if you don't want it in your game you just change it to false if you want roller coaster style rides you can disable your ride limits over here and set that to true all you do is Control s or come over here and save it and then exit out of there and it will load into your game just fine. Now coming over here, if you wanna install a new species mod, it's very much the same process. It's just dragging. This typically eight character folder name, some of them have longer names, please keep that in mind, they're not always going to be eight characters, but you just drop them in here and then there it is. A really easy way to figure out if you installed it correctly is to double click on it and if it has an animals folder, a localized folder, and a UI folder, and then you back out of here to OVL data folder, then it's installed correctly. Planet Zoo Paths is a really fun mod that adds over 40 new paths to the game. And it's again, a very simple install. Just drag and drop. Some new species mods include localization files that allow them to have new names. Again, a very simple installation process. You just drag and drop it in here and you see it right there. A huge change from my last video is the fact that remaster mods are now on Axie and they don't break between updates now. And again, the very simplest way to install these is by dragging this folder out of here in WinRAR and just moving it right over here so it starts with remaster. If you would like to install new prop mods, Almost all of them start with the word prop now, so it's very easy to pop in here and identify all of your prop mods in one fell swoop. Again, just another drag and drop and you've installed it right there. There are packs on the Nexus right now which allow you to download multiple animals and props at the same time. One of my favorites is the Flamingo Pack, which includes all five new species of Flamingo, as well as the Flamingo Pack props, again starting with the word prop. To install this, you take all of these, you just select them all either by dragging or doing control A, and then you can just drag them out right over here. And then you'll see five or six new files in here, depending on if you install the props or not. Another one I wanted to include in here is a terrain recolor. All of these are gonna start with the word terrain and then identifies itself by whatever terrain it's replacing. Here's my Savannah terrain replacement. And what I do, I just take this one and drag it out here. And then there we are. So if we load into the game by clicking on Planet Zoo, first of all, you should be able to load into Planet Zoo. If you're not able to load into Planet Zoo and you crash before the screen, I really do recommend you guys circle back a little bit, rewind the video and check out what you might've done wrong and just make sure that your folders are matching up perfectly. But from here, we could pop over here to a Savannah biome. And if we come right over here, we should be able to see that my grass is now bright green. Beyond that, if I type in Safari, I should be able to see my Safari props and place them down without any issues. Look at that, a hot air balloon. 
And if I look in here for the Suffolk sheep, I should be able to see it. And if I look for any flamingo, they should be in here as well. Full zoopedias and all. To know if you installed a remaster mod correctly, just look up the name of the animal and if it has that new beautiful look, you installed it correctly. And of course, if I installed these paths correctly, I should be able to place them in here. And if rebuilds installed correctly too, I should be able to click Y and then place my paths anywhere I want. There's a whole wide other way of installing mods as well through Vortex. Vortex is Nexus's official mod installation program. And if you guys are a little intimidated by installing your mods manually, I suggest to check out Vortex. However, doing mod installations manually is always recommended because you know exactly what you're putting into your folders at every single time. Again, just another reminder to always make sure that you're working on the most up-to-date mods as possible. I really don't recommend you guys install mods that are at least a year old. That's about four content updates from where we are as you're watching this. So just please keep that in mind. However, I hope this tutorial helped a lot and I can't wait to see so many more of you all using mods and hopefully not having any more issues with this. So have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and let me know if I helped you out or not. Have the most wonderful of wonderful days and goodbye.